Area 1, Governance and Management. Parameter A, Governance, Organizational Structure. The governance of the institution is clearly defined in the organizational structure. The powers, functions, duties, and responsibilities of the key officials are well delineated. The organizational structure is used in defining the lines of communication and coordination. The PSAU organizational chart shows board of regents, key university officials, the middle line, and staff units. The admin and academic councils exist and assist the university president in decision making. The PSAU academic council is composed of the instructional staff of the university with the president as chairman and all the faculty members occupying the rank not lower than assistant professor as members. The PSAU Admin Council serves principally as the board's organ in defining, clarifying, and reconciling the latter's policies and programs for smooth dissemination and effective implementation at all levels of organization. The key university officials are the university president, vice president, board secretary, executive or university secretary, directors, and deans. The duties and responsibilities of the major line and staff units are characteristics of those being performed by the higher level management officials and may be appropriately described by their particular designations thereof. There are also processes for the implementation of different programs. Three priority decisions that have been implemented brought about the organizational structure. First, participation of admin and academic councils in decision making. Second, human resource development scholarship program for both faculty and non-academic personnel and linkaging for students. Three prevailing best practices related to organizational structure. First, participation of stakeholders in the budget preparation of PSAU. Second, powers, functions or duties and responsibilities of key officials of the administration are clearly defined and delineated in the PSAU organizational structure. Lines of communication and coordination are being followed. And third, good governance is being practiced and implemented in PSAU. Parameter B, governance, probity. The governing board of PSAU is vested on the board of regents with functions provided for by RA 10605. The administration upholds transparency and accountability in the implementation of the university policies. Policies or decisions reflect probity to support programs and projects to provide efficient mechanisms in ensuring consistency of quality in the university's programs, services, management, and operations with the aim for continuous improvement that meet the national and international standards. To uphold standards of quality, transparency and accountability by evaluating the implementation of the programs and projects and to empower the citizen in relation to public service delivery and to take measures to improve customer service. Parameter C, governance, strategic vision. The university is mandated to primarily provide advanced education, higher technological professional instruction and training in the fields of agriculture, arts and sciences, teacher education, industrial technology and in engineering, information technology, business management and accountancy, non-traditional courses, and other relevant fields of study. It shall also undertake research, extension services, and production activities in support of the development of the province of Pampanga and provide progressive leadership in its areas of specialization. The PSAU strategic plan will contribute to the Philippine development plan under the pillars of inequality reducing transformation, and increasing growth potential. The diagram illustrating the important overlapping relationships of the plans, programs, and projects. It emphasizes the critical role of a state university in the development plans from the municipality level up to the national level. It establishes the importance of tapping the potential resources of PSAU in order to create a positive ripple effect in the educational, economic and social dimensions. PSAU can contribute to the strengthening of the primary industry of the municipality of Magalang, Pampanga province and central Luzon, which is agriculture. Focused on its research and development, the university has produced tamarind, bamboo, 
organic vegetables, livestock, poultry and water, and energy research and development programs. The vibrant conduct of research and development resulted to gaining various awards for PSAU. Commercialization of these products is the next big thing for PSAU. With its alignment with the development plans from the municipal to the national levels, alongside with UN Agenda 2030 of Sustainable Development Goals, PSAU will be able to compete successfully in an increasing global knowledge economy. The roadmap, as shown in Figure 4, will lead PSAU to its vision to be a premier science and agroecological university. To realize our vision, three components were aligned to work hand-in-hand -hand with PSAU's five-year strategic plan along with its academic plan in place. A clear physical development plan which is essential in the operationalization. It is in this note that the campus master plan comes in, where it serves as a guide for current and proposed development and a basis in drafting the financial plan, like fund sourcing and fiscal management. President Rodrigo Duterte signed the Sux Land Use Development and Infrastructure Plan Act, or Republic Act Number no. 11396, on August 22, 2019. The act aims to urge Sux to invest in student services, specifically in dormitories, libraries, student centers, and similar infrastructure. Investment in these facilities is essential to make it easier for the students to complete their education. Better student facilities can promote student mobility and will allow SOOCs to rationalize their degree program offerings. PSAU sets the following thrusts consistent with its roadmap towards achieving higher academic and research excellence, elevating its performance in delivering its fourfold functions, instruction, research, extension, and income generation under a culture of unity and teamwork for excellence. The PSAU Annual Operational Plan is anchored on the Philippine Higher Education Reform Agenda. It focuses on the following. First, improve efficiency. Second, upgrade quality of education. And third, enhance access to quality higher education. The plan spells out the goals, objectives, thrusts, strategies, programs, responsible units, performance indicators, needed budget, and quarterly targets. Through a participatory system of planning, PSAU formulates its five-year development plan with the participation of faculty, students, and stakeholders, especially farmer leaders. The development plan is presented, discussed, and approved first by the Academic Council, then by the Admin Council. It is then submitted to the Board of Regents for deliberation and final approval before its implementation. As we look beyond the horizon, a five-year strategic plan, 2018 to 2022, will help realize the vision of making PSAU the premier science and agroecological university by mainstreaming science and practice of agroecological and industrial technologies through distinctive instruction, research, extension, and entrepreneurship for people and nature as its mission. Three priority plans that have been implemented. First, formulation of the 25-year master development plan. Second, creation of the Pillar 4D. And third, additional plans implemented related to COVID-19 response and resilience building strategy. Three distinct prevailing best practices. First, involve faculty, students, and staff in plan development. Second, hold meetings to get input before planning. And third, hold meetings to get input on draft land use framework and development plans. Other best practices include collectively review data to identify measures of success, setting short-term goals in bite-sized pieces in addition to long-term goals, and monitor progress through periodic checks. Parameter D, governance accountability. Pampanga State Agricultural University is subsidized by the national government through General Appropriations Act. The university implements the Government Accounting Manual to ensure the uniformity, accuracy, reliability, and timeliness in the preparation of financial statements and other reportorial requirements. The manual is following pertinent accounting and budgeting rules and regulations, 
as well as the adoption of the revised chart of accounts for national government agencies, the adoption of Philippine public sector accounting standards, and the guidelines on the revised submission and format of budget and financial accountability reports. Additionally, the university implements the CHED Memorandum Order Number 20, Series of 2011, which prescribes the policies and guidelines on the use of income, special trust fund, and program of receipts and expenditures. The Memorandum Order is properly implemented for years 2017 to 2021, which were approved by the Board of Regents through board resolutions. In detail, the university only approves purchase requests for transactions with approved project procurement management plan. It strictly implements no PPMP, no PR policy. The procurement process of the approved PR consistently follows RA 9184 or Government Procurement Reform Act and its implementing rules and regulations. In addition, the university forms an integrity facilitative committee which ensure integrity in the process of procurement activities for the benefit of the university and advantages to the government. Moreover, the university has a project monitoring committee for infrastructure projects to assure that the structures are built in accordance with the approved plans and specifications, and an inspection committee to inspect all deliveries of supplies, goods, and equipment to ensure that the items being delivered are in accordance with the detailed specifications listed on the approved purchase request in coordination or consultation with the end users and technical working group of the bids and awards committee. Finally, for the payment of financial transactions, the finance department applies COA Circular 2012-001, which contains the revised guidelines and documentary requirements for common government transactions. The monitoring of the fund utilization is vested in the accounting office and the budget office. Both financial offices are maintaining separate subsidiary ledger per account and per project, subject to the regular reconciliation every end of the month. Monthly and quarterly reports showing the appropriation, allotment, obligation or utilization, disbursements and payables are prepared and submitted to the Commission on Audit and to the Department of Budget and Management. During the year, as a result of bidding process, PSAU awarded a project for the construction of a three-story higher education building, Phase 1, to PVB Construction and Trading, amounting to 36,651,270 pesos and 13 cents out of the GAA 2021 budget. PSAU bid out and awarded a contract for the upgrading of food processing center by putting up radio broadcasting station amounting to 2,737,825 pesos and 98 cents out of 1164 account. PSAU also awarded a contract for the design and build of meat cutting plant and cold storage warehouse, including procurement and installation of equipment amounting to 80,400,000 out of Fund 184 account. Distinct prevailing best practices related to financial management. First, presentation for approval to the Board of Regents, the projected income and proposed expenditure program for all funds of the university. Second, each unit, project, program, or activity of the university prepares a project procurement and management plan or PPMP within their allocated budget. Third, both the budget and accounting office maintain records of daily transactions. Fourth, the accounting and cashier's offices monitor the utilization of notice of cash allocation. And lastly, preparation of monthly, quarterly, and annual reports. Parameter E, governance, awareness, and management of risk. The university being aware of the risk being encountered under each office's ensures that a risk register with its corresponding action plan is prepared by each offices to mitigate the occurrence of risk, as well as the agency's preparedness in addressing the identified risk. As part of the agency's awareness of risk is the agency's compliance to government institutions, thus qualifying the agency 
of the grant of performance-based bonus consistently through the years. Parameter F, governance, effective monitoring of performance. PSAU is implementing the SPMS as a tool to measure the performances of individual employees in each delivery unit, including those involved in various projects of the university. With the SPMS, the individuals and delivery units are required to make reasonable targets for them to deliver or achieve within the rating period and commit it through their signed IPCR and OPCR forms. Their actual accomplishments are reported every year and compared to their set targets in the IPCRs and OPCRs. Variances between the targets and the actual accomplishments shall be discussed and justified especially when the latter substantially fell short of the former. PSAU is also complying with the different criteria and conditions set by AO number 25 Interagency Task Force in determining the accomplishments of each unit as to performance, process, financial, and citizen or client satisfaction results. Each unit has to comply on the required agency accountabilities to obtain the needed rating for eligibility to the grant of performance-based bonus. As such, for eight consecutive years, PSAU is compliant and recipient of PBB. One of the latest assessment tools used to measure performances is the approved SPMS of PSAU. The performance of each office is evaluated using the OPCR and IPCR for individual performance of employees. An additional tool being used is the ISO Performance Monitoring Tool, which is used in evaluating the quarterly accomplishments of each office in the delivery of service to its clients. It is also monitoring the customer levels of satisfaction on the services received. The Office of Business Affairs is utilizing PSAU OBA SF12 in monitoring and evaluating the performance. The tool is being utilized to monitor the implementation of the project, its financial operations, including marketing and production operations. Performance targets are required to be discussed and agreed upon by the personnel or head of office and the immediate supervisor. Coaching and evaluation are conducted throughout the year. Variances between the targets and the accomplishments are discussed and justified or settled between the ready and rater. Parameter G, financial management control. The university strongly adheres to the guidelines issued by oversighting government agencies such as COA, DBM, and SHED. PSAU is continuously updating its policies regarding sound management, financial control, and quality assurance to cope with the very dynamic leadership style of the The university strongly adheres to the guidelines issued by oversighting government agencies such as COA, DBM, and SHED. PSAU is continuously updating its policies regarding sound management, financial control, and quality assurance to cope with the very dynamic leadership style of the government administration through high degree of integrity and accountability in all government dealings. PSAU is also maintaining its strong adherence to the requirements of the interagency task force, such as the four good governance conditions, transparency seal, Field jobs posting, citizen charter, and statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth of its employees. Moreover, PSAU qualifies for the PBB for eight consecutive years, 2012 to 2019. PSAU maintains a five-year development plan, the latest of which covers the period calendar year 2018 to 2022. This was approved by the board, through Board Resolution Number 75, Series of 2017, dated October 30, 2017. To realize PSAU's development plan, annual budget proposals are prepared and submitted to the DBM for inclusion in the National Expenditure Program and the National Government for funding through GAA. PSAU also prepares an annual special budget or the Program of Receipts and Expenditures for the use of the collection from tuition, other fees, and income-generating projects. This is to augment the appropriation received from the national government. The annual budget of PSAU shall be prepared in accordance with the following legal basis and other policies issued by the government 
and of the Board of Regents. First, the National Budget Call. Second, RA8292 and its implementing rules and regulations. Third, CHED Memorandum Order Number 20, Series of 2011. Fourth, PSAU's five-year development plan. And lastly, other applicable rules and regulations issued by DBM, COA, CHED, and the BOR. The following are the sources of budget. Regular agency fund, internally generated fund, business-related fund, and trust receipts. The budget officer shall prepare a memo to the different offices or units indicating their budget allocation for the year once the President of the Philippines and the PSAU Board of Regents approve the General Appropriations Act and projected receipts and expenditures respectively. The memo includes the submission of the Project Procurement Management Plan of the end users. The PPMPs are then forwarded to the BAC Secretariat for consolidation in an APP. The university generally utilizes its budget in accordance with the GAA and CMO 20 series of 2011. Specifically, PSAU uses its budget through procurement of supplies and materials indicated in the approved PPMP and APP. The procurement process consistently follows RA9184 and its implementing rules and regulations. Moreover, for the payment of these transactions, the university applies COA Circular 2012-001, which contains the revised guidelines and documentary requirements for common government transactions. The office's task to implement the responsibilities of government accounting are the accounting, the budget, and the cashiering offices. To ensure availability and stability of the various funds of the university, accounting system was put in place. At present, PSAU maintains four accounts, Fund 101, 161, 164, and 184. These funds were created to properly account receipts and expenditures based on its classification. The accounting, the budget, and the cashiering offices maintain separate ledger to record appropriations, allotments, obligations, disbursements, and payables. The same offices also maintain a separate ledger for notice of cash allocation to record receipts and checks issued. The data recorded in the mentioned ledgers are used to prepare budget financial accountability reports or BFARs. PSAU promotes transparency, accuracy, authenticity, and integrity in all aspects of governance, hence has composed an internal audit service or unit through office order DEA number 067, series of 2017. PSAU likewise created an inspection committee to inspect all deliveries of supplies, goods, and equipment to ensure that the items being delivered are in accordance with the detailed specifications listed on the approved purchase request in coordination or consultation with the end users and technical working group of the bids and awards committee. Moreover, they are responsible in the inspection of the IGP's harvest, scrap materials taken from the demolished structures, condemnation of vehicles, and equipment. Moreover, PSAU formed an Integrity Facilitative Committee to ensure integrity in the process of procurement activities for the benefit of the university and advantages to the government. Lastly, the Commission on Audit serves as the external auditor of PSAU. They have the power, authority, and duty to examine or audit the financial transactions of the university. Financial controls are the means by which an organization's resources are directed, monitored, and measured. Financial controls play an important role in ensuring the accuracy of reporting, eliminating fraud, and protecting the organization's resources, both physical and intangible. These internal control procedures reduce process variation, leading to more predictable outcomes. Some of the financial controls PSAU is doing are the following. First, proper delineation of duties. The duties and responsibilities of PSAU personnel are properly delineated and reviewed 
through the use of IPCR and OPCR. Second, the use of routing or action slip. The university is using a routing or action slip for all financial transactions. The routing slip is used to trace the series of actions on document as it passed from one office or unit to another. Financial report preparation and submission. PSAU is regularly preparing monthly and quarterly financial reports submitted to the Commission and Audit and to the Department of Budget and Management in compliance to COA DBM Joint Circular Number 2019-1 dated January 2019 on report preparation and submissions. The reports allow COA, DBM, and PSAU management to evaluate the performance of the university for a covered period. These reports are used to evaluate if the set targets of the university are met. There is also periodic reconciliation. A monthly and quarterly reconciliation is being performed by the budget and accounting offices, accounting and cashier offices, and accounting and bank to ensure the reliability of records. Conduct of regular and annual audits. A team of resident auditors from the COA is conducting a regular and annual audit on PSAU, which focuses on financial, operations, compliance, and value for money audit. The following are the distinct prevailing best practices. First, grassroots participatory budgeting process. Second, the creation of an inspection committee. Third, the creation of an integrity facilitative committee. And fourth, the creation of a project monitoring committee for infrastructure projects. Parameter H, enabling features, use of information and communication technology in management. As to the enabling features, there was a restructuring in the management information system. Particularly, there was the creation of units for targeted or specialized services. There are also projects of management information systems. Still, there are ongoing projects just like the following, financial automation resource management system in collaboration with Caraga State University, document tracking system, and document repository system. Parameter I, resource generation strategies. PSAU's effort for resource generation has been robust throughout the years. Through an intensified linkaging effort with other government agencies, PSAU has been entrusted of different projects from different sectors and agencies because of its capability to deliver desired results for each project and for its ability to timely submit and liquidate transfers, rendering a positive and favorable standing for PSAU and the agency as a whole. This also opened doors for opportunity to implement major projects of the national government. And because of this, the university generated a total amount of more than 310 million pesos. Parameter J, other enabling features. These are the other enabling features. Creation of the Office of the Vice President for Planning, Innovation, Linkage, and Agroecological Resources for Development. Establishment of the PSAU TVET Center. Establishment of the PSAU ETEA. Implementation of Quality Management System. Compliance to ARTA-EODB-EGSD. Implementation of 5S. Digitization initiatives on the admission procedure. COVID-19 response practices. COVID-19 response practices for work arrangements, and qualification for PAGASA awards. These are the other enabling features.